Spiritual warfare is a conflict, a war that's being waged in the invisible spiritual realm. And the thing about this kind of battle is that, although it's fought in the spiritual realm, it often manifests in the visible physical realm. This is why the Apostle Paul wrote, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. And it's true, it's not against the things of this world. As a believer, you're not fighting people. You're not just fighting circumstances. No, you're fighting the spirit behind the person, the devil behind the situation. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. But here's what we're doing today. We're going to pray for victory in all areas of our life. Believe that God will break every plan of the enemy. Trust that the Lord will have the final say in all matters concerning you. Your protection, the conflicts you face, the battles you face, the Lord has the final say over all of that. Through faith, through worship, and through prayer, we are protected from evil forces. And more than just that, we have victory. And with that understanding, let us pray. Lord Jesus, I look to you today concerning all things. I honor and reverence your holy name today. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve my praise and honor. My prayer today, Lord, is that you fight for me. Fight my battles, Lord. I believe that every setback sent from the enemy will be a set up to be a blessing for me in Jesus' name. In you, Father, I find strength, the strength and protection needed for every battle we face in this life. When I look back over my life, Lord, you have been faithful. You have saved me and kept me from everything that has come to hurt me. I am still here, able to lift my voice, to lift my hands and thank you for your kindness and protection. It's because of you, Lord Jesus, that I have survived every attack from the devil which was intended to hurt me. I rebuke, cancel, and destroy every assignment, every plot and attack of the enemy over my life and over my family's life. I pray, Lord, that the blood of Jesus Christ over my life will cancel every curse and every negative word that has ever been spoken over my life. Your word says from Psalms 34 verse 7 that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord. You, his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. And so I pray that may your angels encamp around me. May you deliver me from all of my struggles. Deliver me from every stronghold, everything that seeks to stop my spiritual growth. Deliver me emotionally, physically, and spiritually from all the enemy's attacks. Your word says the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. I praise you for your word and its promise, the promise to protect me from the evil one, protect me from all of the traps he sets, protect me from all of the schemes of the devil. You are faithful, God. In the name of Jesus, there is no weapon forged against me that will prosper. In the name of Jesus, I refute every tongue that speaks evil against me. Father, everything that seeks to disturb the peace in my mind, everything that seeks to destroy the peace in my spirit, I ask today, Lord, that you remove it and let it be placed far away from me. Protect my peace of mind, Jesus. Protect the peace within my soul, Lord. Father, when life presents me with situations and decisions that are difficult and complicated, will you give me the grace to overcome, the strength to overcome? 
Give me the faith to turn to you for guidance and the power for me to let faith reign instead of fear. Help me to overcome feelings of confusion and worry and, and instead give me the assurance, the belief that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I pray, Lord, that when the enemy tries to crowd my mind with fear and anxiety, when he tries to overwhelm me with burdens, may you be my load bearer. May you be my resting place, Lord Jesus. May you block everything that could bring me down into a state of depression, a state of anxiety. May you be my rescue, Lord, and help me not to succumb to the tricks of the enemy. I reject the devil's attacks. I reject his schemes in the name of Jesus. I will stand on your word that says in 2 Timothy 4, verse 18, The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. Lord, you are my hiding place. And I know that under your wings, I can always find safety. I can always find refuge. May you protect me always from trouble, wherever I go. Keep evil far from me and my family. I speak the blood of Jesus to cover me, to surround my home. I ask that your presence be with me. May it be within me and behind me. Father, order my steps and lead me. Go before me, Jehovah, and be beside me. I want to thank you for your goodness and your mercy upon my life. I thank you, Lord, for being in my life. You are the Lord God Almighty, the great I am. I say that you are my refuge. You are the chief cornerstone, and I choose to trust in the true and living God. You provide me with the shelter from life's storms, from life's difficulties. I speak the blood of Jesus upon each and every member of my family for protection and preservation of life. I decree and declare that the gates of hell shall not prevail against me and my loved ones. Lord, I commit myself and my family into your hands in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus upon each and every doorpost of my home, upon each and every window post of my home for protection in the name of Jesus Christ. May your pillar of fire be seen where my family and I abide every night. Lord, you have said you will not allow sickness and disease to come near me. I therefore declare that sickness and disease are far from me. I pray that you protect me and my family from everything we cannot see that tries to harm us. No demon from hell, no unclean spirit, no generational curses, no misfortune will touch me or my family because of you, God. I pray you will protect me and my loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the name that was given power above all names, your word in Psalms 91 says, you will protect me from the terror by night, the arrow that flies by day. And I receive that promise. I believe that you are faithful to your word. God, give me the faith of Moses so that when you speak to me and call me to do your work, or when the time comes for me to step into my destiny calling, help me not to doubt. Give me the faith to step out and walk on water. When my mind says, you can't do that, or you will never succeed at that, I pray for bold faith that will push back and say, with God, all things are possible. Give me the measure of faith that truly believes you are the God of I am, and you will make a way when there seems to be no way. Lord, I pray for a heart of worship like David. I too want to chase after your heart. I too want to worship you in spirit and in truth. Dear God, give me the boldness of the three Hebrew boys, the boldness to remove every idol in my life, the boldness to refuse to bow down to anything and everything that tries to take your place in my life. And Father, I pray, may you increase in my life as I decrease. I bless your holy name. 
Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.